Hey everyone, welcome to Dis Travel Duo. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a very long overdue video, which is recapping our November, December 2021 trip. So, stay tuned. <music> We took, like I said, a trip from November 28th to December 2nd. It was literally just a few days. Uh, it was a Sunday when we had our flight. We arrived in Orlando. And let me just get started with that portion. So when we went, the Magical Express was still going. Um, but there was no longer the luggage services. So we still had to go to the terminal or to the baggage claim, rather, and pick up our bags. And then from there, go meet up at the Magical Express, um, make a line, wait, and all that. So I think I posted a video in our vlog. If not, I'll just... Um, overlay it here but there was a super long wait but even before that in order for us to get our baggage it was such chaotic we did not know our way around i thought we knew our way around uh, orlando airport but all the other times magical express was taking care of that part at that time was our first time that we had to do it ourselves so it was big massive confusion the orlando airport in my opinion is very very confusing and hard to navigate so that was a whole issue and then doing that for the first time my daughter had her luggage russell which is her service dog um his had his own luggage and then i had my luggage my carry-on on my backpack so it was like a whole lot of stuff lots of inconveniences that i really appreciated and valued magical express for doing that sadly they no longer do that so hopefully they come up with another service like that um Ideally, it would be for them to include it in our reservation, but obviously I don't think that's ever going to happen ever again. So that was the first hiccup in our trip. So anyways, um, the line was really big as well as um, for waiting for the Magical Express. Uh, longer than any other time that we've been. Uh, I think we've been very fortunate the previous times because the line has only been like 20 minutes tops. This time we waited way longer i would say two times more three times more anyways so that first day we arrived at the resort uh they didn't have our room ready i had ordered i had paid for a preferred room we got there it was not ready so we're like okay so whenever you do guys have it ready please let us know we're gonna go to the park we would like the soonest one available if not you know we'll just wait we're gonna go to the park we can leave we left our baggage at um bell services and we were just gonna hit the park so we went to animal kingdom first and then uh it turns out that while we're at animal kingdom they gave us a room turns out they gave us a room in the 90s section which is really far away from the preferred area it's a farther walk it's not as close as i would have liked but i digress so like I said, we went to Animal Kingdom. First thing we did was went to Setuli Canteen. We were super hungry. Cast members were really, really nice. Um, they um, helped, for example, one of the very nice things is one of the cast members helped my daughter with her tray to get herself to the table um, without even asking because they saw her struggling because she has her tray. She had the service dog. And so they, they, they helped her. It was, it was really nice. Um, there at animal kingdom we only did like the main attractions that we prefer for example we did navi river journey we did flight of passage we did expedition and then we had to leave because it was around 6 p.m when we left because we had a dinner reservation at california girl that same night i know that that was a really hectic you know travel day so we left and we arrived at a resort we settled in we got our bags our groceries settled in refreshed and then hit the bus sta uh, bus stop, you know, the pickup area to take us to Magic Kingdom. From Magic Kingdom, we have to walk over to the Contemporary. That's where California Grill is, and there's no direct transportation from resort to resort. We could have taken an Uber. Didn't want to. We were going to splurge already in dining and all that, so we just did that option for the transportation. Um, I know that Uber is an option. I just chose not to, but it was fine. We did get there about 10, 15 minutes late because from the walking, uh, from the time we get off of the bus to the time we found our place to at California Grill, we were lost for a little bit, but they did accept us. They took us in anyways. We got amazing seating. The food was wonderful. The service was wonderful. Uh, we were sat in a window seat, so we had a great view of the fireworks. They were piping in the music. It was just 
a beautiful way to have dinner the food was delicious it was plentiful even though it was like a prefix dinner the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary dinner at the contemporary it's a prefix dinner for a set price but it's so good that was my first time eating a california grill i definitely like it and i think we're gonna do it again hopefully if we get our advanced dining reservations that we want hopefully we'll be eating there again you get an appetizer an entree and a dessert and those are like we were already almost full with our appetizer i'll tell you that much and um but everything was so delicious the service like i said so anyways we got back to our room it was around around 12 30 a.m so by the way if i am looking down i'm looking down at my notes because it's hard to remember all of this information but the one thing that i did do is as soon as we got back from our trip i took down notes so that is what i'm going to be looking at in case you're wondering so that was day one we went to sleep um then the next day we uh went to hollywood studios that was going to be our first full park day however we did not stay as long as we would have liked we were super tired it was a very long travel day and the day before i was wearing really wrong shoes that i thought were going to be great for the trip and they weren't so i had blisters so add to the exhaustion was the pain of my foot feet um so we kind of went early we left the parks but again we did the the main attractions we wanted to try all the new stuff in star wars the rides we didn't really get to explore the land but we did do rise of the resistance and 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 smugglers run and then we also got to um get on mickey and minnie's runaway railway which was also another one and then also explore a little bit of toy story land and do slinky dog we didn't do everything but like i said we were so tired so it was a little bit before five when we arrived at our resort for that day we didn't return we were ideally gonna go return but then we ended up not going. However, a really good uh, highlight of that day was when my daughter lost her phone. That was not the highlight. The highlight was the fact that I called her phone and then somebody answered. And it, it was a cast member and was telling us, hey, we yeah, we found it. It's guest services. So just go to the front of the park and then it'll be there. So we went. She had to identify her phone. It did take a while because there was a lot of people who lost stuff that day apparently um but then we got it all resolved we got her phone we left people again the cast members in the um the skyliner because fyi that was the first time we ever uh ridden the skyliner there was so nice in the morning which let me backtrack in the morning there is a long line at the skyliner so just be prepared for that um then you do get a connection flight when you're going from pop century to hollywood studios you, there's a connection area sorry not a connection flight but a connection area or i guess it could be a connection flight since it's a skyliner i digress it's a, a hub where you have to switch from one skyliner in order to get to that one uh, Hollywood Studios it's at the Caribbean Beach I believe and then there's another bigger line so just be prepared for that be early uh, but the cast members were super nice and friendly they even asked if they needed if we needed the um the Skyliner to the gondola to be slowed down in order for my daughter and her service dog to get on which they did super friendly really nice everybody we were made very to feel very comfortable and so, welcome. Yeah. so like i said we returned to a resort before five we took a nap we were planning allegedly to take like an hour nap at most and then maybe go back for the fireworks we didn't we woke up at eight and actually we didn't wake up on our own it was a loud knock on the door they said it was housekeeping it wasn't housekeeping i guess they do the security check where they have to randomly go into rooms and apparently this person was knocking for a while and they even had to go get a general manager or somebody like that because then they came in and they were knocking harder and then that's when we woke up um we weren't we knocked out but anyways all they did was just like hey everything's okay we're just checking blah blah, blah. okay and then they left we were out of it then we finally woke up and i think we had some dinner there at the resort like in our room like i think my daughter just went to grab something and that was it um it was a very short day but long day at the same time if you know what if you know what i mean but anyways the third day was epcot this was i think the longest day that we spent because we actually went there from opening to closing we did stay like i said all the way to closing um what did we try okay so we tried the 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 boot the holiday booths that they have at epcot I honestly was kind of disappointed. I was expecting more. The food 
quality and taste was not really what I was hoping for or expecting especially for Disney prices I really hope that the food and wine is going to be different hint hint it's gonna be our first uh, food and wine hint hint it's coming up pretty soon um, but yeah the holiday booths at um, at um, the holiday booths at uh, Epcot the holiday booths at Epcot were not what I thought. I was kind of disappointed, overpriced, and not good. And I'm not a picky eater. I'm very adventurous. I like to try different foods. I eat many foods. It's really rare when I don't like something. So that, I think that says a lot because hmm, I think it was very, like, processed, very, like, just get out and warm, like, heat. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't good. Like, I was kind of disappointed in that. Um, and then the only other, the other hiccup I can think of that day was when we were returning to the Skyliner. We were already in a line and then a cast member came up to us and I think she asked this because she saw my daughter's service dog. So she's like, do you guys need assistance? We understood that if we needed to like have the Skyliner slow down, like the previous uh, cast member had asked us in the day. Uh, so we said, oh yeah, sure. So she moved us to another line um, that I didn't even know where this line came from. But anyways, it seemed to be even shorter than the line that we were in. So I'm like, oh, okay, this, well, this is a nice surprise. Well, turns out, no, it wasn't because the line that they moved us into was a line where like people who have like mobility problems or, or have a wheelchair where they actually need the gondola to stop, um, fully stop, not slow down, fully stop. That's the line that she put us in and the line that we were previously on had already gone completely and we would have gone way ahead than the line that she put us in. I hope this makes sense. Uh, but anyways, we were basically the second to last people to board the gondola and ended up arriving to our resort until like midnight, which was very unfortunate. I wish we would have stayed in that other line, <sighs> but it is what it is. So that's the only thing. So now we know next time. Uh, and then fourth day was Magic Kingdom. Uh, we left early that day. We couldn't stay because we actually had reservations uh, for Sanaa dinner. So we unfortunately couldn't stay for the fireworks. But dinner at Sanaa was really good. It was okay, honestly. I think I had the buttered chicken in that. I can't remember the full name, but if you see our vlogs, it's there. Or I'll post the picture somewhere here. But it was good. Um, however, I think the bread service was my favorite part with all the different sauces. Or, or um, yeah, the sauces that, that the, the accompany the bread. Um, definitely, I would have that only and maybe like a drink or two there. But the food wasn't anything to write home about it was okay like it's not out of this world i think i could have something like that or even better outside of disney that's more authentic but the bread service was good um and then uh yeah we just uh called it a night we went to our resort we still didn't get there until like after 10 30 so it was still like we never got there early but you know when it's a short trip it's to be expected to be in late and get up early and all that so it's fine uh i really wish we could have spent most time at um a magic King kingdom and doing more rides and stuff and watching the fireworks however every encounter we had with cast members was really nice that day as well then fifth day was our departure day which <laughs> very sad another sad thing that i miss from Disney in this trip and I noticed the difference is the fact that they no longer do resort check-in so that's very unfortunate because now you can't do it before uh, like before you could just go into your resort go to Bell Services and they would check you in for your flight and you know they would take care of the luggage and then you just go directly when you get to the airport you go directly to your terminal or whatnot not the case anymore so that was very sad. We, in the morning, got up early, made sure we had everything, took our luggage to Bell Services just so they could hold them there. Uh, and then we went to spend a few hours in Magic Kingdom, did a few rides, eat, ate there, and then we had to head back because we had a flight leaving like around three or two. I can't, I can't remember, honestly, but I forgot to write that down. <laughs> but then once we got to the resort, we, uh, once we got to the resort, we went to Bell Services get our luggage because now we have to wait with our luggage wait for magical express or like i call it tragical express 
because you know you're going home so it's a tragedy uh but yeah then we waited there got on the bus and then got to the airport and again carried our luggage went to the uh mco airport to check in our bags and all that and then we just had to go on up to our gate and that was it i this trip went in a blink of an eye really it was really fast it was fun it was so tiring uh what did i learn from this trip first of all get a good uh luggage cart when you get to the airport uh study the airport map because it is very confusing i find the mcl airport very confusing uh, make sure to take good comfortable shoes and walk a lot in them at your home so you realize if they're going to be good or not um don't say you need help at the skyliner um like if you need assistance at the skyliner unless you actually need assistance like when they mean that i think i guess just make, clarify with the cast member because one cast member can call it one way and another cast member there could be inconsistencies like in our case and then we ended up waiting double than we, what we should have waited when we could have easily just gotten into the line that we were already in and wouldn't have taken us that long i hope that makes sense and then i guess just um be flexible be flexible because not always things come up like you imagine to for them to come up and have an open mind um try not to stress out a lot we're gonna have a very different trip this time this trip that we took in november of 2021 was like a four or five day trip including arrival and departure so this upcoming trip we're gonna have a total of about 12 days eight park days with a couple of rest days in between so stay tuned for that and then hopefully i can recap my following trip it's going to be very different we're still going to have it's going to be my daughter her service dog myself and then this time we have a friend coming over with us so it's their first time going to disney world and it's their first time taking a family va a vacation without her family actually and so it might be a, a full of unknowns so stay tuned for that trip that those vlogs you can always find us on these social medias i'll post my daughter's a uh, service dog um instagram page i will post the dis travel duel instagram page and then you can also follow along in this tiktok it's my tiktok where you can follow us along i'll be uh posting sporadically here and there so you can follow in any of these social medias and hopefully you can link with us so Thanks so much for watching and you guys have any other questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and click that bell because in that way you get notified every single time that we upload a video because you know YouTube be doing us dirty. It doesn't always notify people but we would love to have you guys come along on this new adventure and thanks so much for watching and we'll see you at the next one.